In the decades following World War II, the Soviet Union fostered extensive research and programs for technological advancement. This 100-page declassified document from the CIA library, approved for release in the year 2000, includes doctoral dissertations defended in the Scientific Council of the Institute of Physics of the Atmosphere and Institute of Applied Geophysics in the USSR. In it, we find detailed descriptions of experimentation sponsored by the Academy of Sciences of the Soviet Union, most notably atmospheric studies on light scattering. They list several methods and tools used to determine the differences in luminosity of the firmament, mentioning it by name on page 18. Page 19 is where it gets good. We have the mention of a near sun halo in the opening lines. And then the kicker? This dissertation contains a certain formula of the brightness of the sky, taking into consideration only the brightness of the first order and derived on the assumption of a flat earth and giving some conclusions derived on the basis of this formula. And again, on this same page, the author makes a distinction between the sky and the firmament. Quote, A method is also proposed of determining the brightness of the clear daylight sky at any point based on measuring the brightness along the almancator of the sun and of five to six points on the firmament located at various zenith distances. I'm Wes Blaze. You're watching Uncommon Ground.